Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and in our this particular video we will be learning how we can apply the moving average filter in case of images okay. So in my previous video I have shown you how you can apply moving average filter for removing noise right like if you if I run the same code as I have shown earlier also so suppose I want for 10 point or maybe 20 point moving average filter so see if the blue color waveform is our input one which is consisting of very high amount of noise the noise is reduced by a very high amount in our output signal which is the red one right now let us try to think how we can apply in images see you might have seen lots of videos where a particular part of the video is blurred for a particular moment and then again it takes its normal shape right so that is nothing but blurring of image okay because videos are nothing but consisting of multiple images thousands of frames okay so you can consider that same event as images so if you're able to know blurring of one particular image then you can make that kind of effect and that will be very beautiful and we can apply the concept of moving average filter for blurring image why and how see here what it is doing what moving average filter is doing it is quite clear that it is acting like a low pass filter which basically removes or rejects the high frequency component right similarly while blurring the image or while making a particular video part as blur what we are doing we are basically performing low pass filtering and what is frequency component in case of images suppose you consider two pixels because images are consisting of multiple pixels and in between two pixels if there is a huge difference in between intensity level of red green and blue channel then we say that there is a high frequency gap in between those two pixels so if you reduce this uh, uh, high frequency or remove the high frequency component using move, moving average filter then you can simply make your image blur and get that effect in videos also now the question comes how we can for moving average filter for two dimension okay and that is very simple see what and how you can do remember I have told you in my earlier videos about the function once suppose I am having one fun, uh, one simple line code e is equal to once 5 comma 5 it will be forming one 5 cross 5 matrix having elements as one now I am performing es by what is the total number of elements that is 25 right because 5 cross 5 so total 25 elements es by 25 now if you write ands see I will be having this coefficient 0 0.04 and this is nothing but our moving average filter try to understand very simple we are taking basically average of this 5 cross 5 block okay and that is nothing but moving average because we are dividing by total number of elements present in the matrix and this matrix we can use for filtering in our images okay so here I have written one simple code here if you check this one so I am taking one image of golden retriever CLC clear all close all I hope you can understand then I will be showing the image let me just implement that and here I can use inbuilt MATLAB function f special average 10 comma 10 this will create our moving average filter of 10 cross 10 but it will give us the same result as I have shown using our normal code also like here if I write f special then average and then suppose I want for 5 cross 5 all right and if you run see same filter you will be getting as we were getting here okay so either you can use inbuilt function or you can write by your own no problem in that and then for filtering signal we use filter for filtering images we will be using im filter that is the difference first the image and then the filter okay and then show the blurred image so first of all let us evaluate this particular part let me show you the image once so this is my cute golden retriever image and then I am creating the filter I, I am filtering my original signal via that and then I am showing my blurred image 
see you can clearly understand that this particular image is blurred version of my earlier now you can make an, this same thing as animation and you can apply in video processing clc cleared all close all x equal to im read golden dot jfif and then i can use one for loop and i will be making i will be making it blur slowly by slowly so i will be first creating one average moving average filter of one cross one then two cross two then three cross three as i will keep on increasing the size of the matrix it will become more blur right and I, you will be uh, observing this effect when i will run the code and then i am showing that using i am show and then i am using draw now for animation purpose right let me just clear this and i am implementing the code i will be performing evaluate selection and just check our image will become blurred slowly by slowly it will become more and more blurred okay and it will look like one video animation so i am performing evaluate selection and see here our image is becoming blurred slowly by slowly okay i hope you have observed if i increase this suppose 1 to maybe 30 you will be observing this effect in a more better way see initial image is quite good and then it is becoming more and more blurred as my moving average filter uh, size is increasing and finally we will be getting an image which is uh, having which is very much haze we cannot see this properly because the contrast in the intensity level is decreased due to this low pass filtering using moving average filter right so this kind of small small projects you can try you can do experiments and take the fun using matlab because signal processing is all about practical implementation and when you are coming to digital domain that is digital signal processing digital image processing then you will you can do lots of things using this okay uh, and in the current scenario lots of projects are going on in this domain so i will appreciate you if you come up with some new idea don't forget to post in the comment section we can discuss further this is all for my this video if you find this video helpful please like share and comment subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos thank you